So you're sitting there wondering if you can get a business loan from uh, Santander Bank. But guess what? Today I have uh, great news for you. In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about a new business loan from Santander Bank. $3 million maximum EIN only. FICO minimum 545, no personal guarantee. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Study Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous. If you are to ask me, if you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about an EIN only massive business loan from Santander Bank. And before I get into the actual nitty gritty, please understand that this video is purely educational. We have no association, no relationship with uh, Santander Bank. They have not paid us to do this video. This is purely informational. Now, what are the loan facts here? So this loan with Santander Bank, you can get a, a business term loan, a business line of credit, equipment financing, and a commercial real estate mortgage. And the amount maximum $3 million, APR up to 15.89%. Fees are variable based on the transaction, term up to 25 years, especially for the mortgage uh, loan. And the time to funding one to three days in some cases one to seven days and there are no extra conditions okay i want to dig a little deeper here to sort of explain to you now what we love with santander bank is that they have several types of business funding okay so we have the business line of credit and you can see on the screen the home page of that uh, product so this is great for short-term working capital financing needs and this is you can use it for if uh, you can you can use it to finance accounts receivable purchase inventory, support seasonal cash flow fluctuations. And the cool thing here is that you have revolving lines of, lines of credit for amounts uh, amount to begin around $10,000. And then we have the business term loan. Here, financing needs that require longer term to pay. You can use it to acquire fixed assets, refinance non-Santander debt with a fixed monthly, uh, monthly payments. And the minimum amount to borrow is 10000 and it goes all the way to $3 million. And then you have business owner-occupied commercial real estate mortgages. Here you can use it to purchase, renovate, or refinance owner-occupied commercial real estate. You can use it to improve or expand existing building, refinance non-Santander existing real estate, and what we love, your real estate debts. And the minimum amount here is uh, $25,000. And then you have business equipment financing. And then you, you also, one thing I want to say here is it's very important to understand that with all Santander financing, you get excellent customer service. You get excellent, uh, I would say, support. And especially when you have, um, uh, for example, the business line, line of credit, you can get unsecured lines up to $100,000 that are renewable. Okay, so no problem. So revolving with uh, renewals occurring once a year for lines of credit, no greater than $350,000. For the business term loan, you're looking at uh, a maturity date from three years to seven years. All right, folks, now let's take a look at Santander. Who is this lender? But before I get into that description, please understand, folks, I am speaking to you today about a massive business loan from uh, Santander Bank. Maximum loan amount, $3 million, EIN only, no personal guarantee. Let's take a look at Santander now. So this is this is a great bank, okay? They actually are very prominent in the in the Northeast. They have uh, thousands of ATMs and hundreds of branches, okay? No problem about that. One thing you need to understand here, one thing we love at least is that they do have a diversity of business loans. Let me ask you a question. Big decision time, big decision time. Do you currently bank with Santander? If you don't, this is the right time to do it because if you want to get a loan from them, a business loan at that, you want you need to have a multi relationship, a multi product relationship with them. Very important. What are the pros and cons of Santander? You have a diversity of business loans. That's the pro. You have high loan amounts. They have over two thousand ATMs and about 
600 branches mostly across the northeast but again this is a national player though this bank is a national player so even if you are somewhere in arizona or new mexico or texas you can still qualify for a business loan from uh, santander no problem just gotta call them up what are the cons of uh, this uh, this lender so we have seen that there are some loan fees and we have seen that some of their uh, basic uh, business checking and basic business savings accounts are not really strong they have to work on that okay so sometime there if you listen to me you need to beef up your uh, your offer in terms of a uh, business checking accounts and business savings account in terms of uh, overall banking experience from a business perspective or from uh, a retail perspective they are great you can reach customer service representatives from uh, from 8 a.m to 8 p.m eastern seven days a week and uh, other options include emailing contacting something there on twitter or visiting one of uh, their approximately 600 branches okay and the bank also has solid mobile app ratings fantastic so after evaluating this lender on tens of criteria including the loan variety the loan amount generosity the cost the reputation and customer service we assign this company santander a score of nine over ten let me talk to you now about eligibility okay folks in this show just to contextualize the conversation here i am speaking to you about a massive business loan ein only from santander bank maximum loan amount three million dollars okay and uh the cool thing here is that there is no personal guarantee and so now let me speak to you about eligibility criteria when we speak about this loan you have a, they have in terms of credit score sometimes they will look at uh, your credit score your personal credit score but also your business credit score in terms of personal credit score they can go as low as 550 550 you heard it right 550 of course you need to have a strong loan application including a multi-product relationship with something there you got to have checking accounts saving the city's accounts and other accounts with them in terms they also check your business credit score your pay decks your intel score all that kind of stuff they also pay attention to your annual revenue minimum amount they want to have is ten thousand dollars per month so that that equates to what equates to 120 grand a year that's the minimum in terms of operational history you got to be in uh, in existence your business has to be in existence for at least six months sometimes they will go all the way to nine months but that's that's they're very flexible okay they pay attention to a business plan you got to have an updated business plan let me ask you a question big decision time folks i want you to answer me honestly do you currently have a business plan <laughs> do you currently have an updated business plan that's two questions right there don't uh, don't, don't 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 lie to me I'm asking you do you have an updated business plan do you even have a business plan the thing is that according to our research you have uh, thousands of uh, small business owners who have no idea where their business plan is or they have no idea what a business plan is if you're going to apply with something there you want to make sure you have a, a business plan they're going to look at it especially if you want to borrow high amount if you're going to seven digits one million two million three million you better be prepared okay and also in some cases they might ask for collateral even though uh, the collateral can be the business collateral so the business assets uh, uh, again as i said earlier this the, this depends on uh, the amount you're seeking so high amounts require higher secu higher security so you might want you might have to pledge the company's assets fixed assets accounts receivable inventory all that kind of stuff depending on the maturity of the loan and other uh, other requirements might actually uh, entail the foundational documents of the company for example articles of incorporation or articles of uh, organization it can be uh, business insurance pl insurance plans all that kind of stuff let's talk about the use of loan proceeds so folks if you just join us I'm speaking to you about a superb business loan from uh, Santander Bank maximum loan amount three million dollars no personal guarantee all kinds of credit profiles are welcome and santander is a national player even though they are prominent in the northeast they cover the whole united states okay and uh, you can use you can use the santander uh, the loan the money that you get from them you can use it for two two purposes you can you can have a long-term vision or a short-term vision okay so for long term you can use the money to pay operational expenses 
you can i mean for short term rather for short term short term you can use the money to uh pay operational expenses accounts payable and or to purchase inventory right because all those items all those elements are part of the balance sheet but the short term portion of the balance sheet right operational expenses that this is accounts um uh, operational expenses accounts payable this is a short term liability and inventory is a short term asset so when we speak about using something on their money to take care of those things we're speaking about working capital all right but you can also pay attention to things like uh, seasonal financing contract performance construction financing and exporting and, and exporting something there is very great at that they are very good at it. they will accompany you they will, they will support you they do have experience so let me give you an example let's say you are trying to you're trying to plug some operational uh, cash flow problems due to seasonality right let's say your your company does very well six months out of the year and does poorly the other six months right so you're sitting around wondering how can i plug this liquidity chasm this liquidity gap that i've been that, that, that i've been dealing with well something there can help you with a with a short-term business loan all the way to uh, three million dollars let me ask you a question big decision time i want you to answer me right now how do you currently fill the gap how do you currently uh, try to fill the liquidity gap you have in your company are you doing it through credit cards do you have other loans do you have a, a revolving line of credit either at the business level or at the personal level how do you fill that up you better have a, you better have an answer because what's going to happen is that when something there goes through your, your file they're going to ask all those questions especially when, when it comes to ev evaluating something called dti debt to income ratio but that's another topic for another day <laughs> i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. I'm still having a conversation with you about a humongous EIN only business loan from Santander Bank. Santander Bank. <laughs> I'm just pronounced like they used to pronounce it in Spain, but Santander Bank. And uh, the maximum loan amount here is $3 million. And the minimum can be around $5,000 to $10,000, okay? And uh, no personal guarantee, EIN only. Let me talk to you now about the evidence needed. What kind of evidence does uh, Santander require to approve this loan? Obviously, you have uh, the regular, I mean, uh, you know, the, the standard documents. So they'll be asking you on the application, on the loan application form, why are you applying for the loan, right? How would you use the, the money? In other words, the loan proceeds, what would they be used for? Are you buying some assets with the, uh, with the, with the money? Who are your suppliers? So what Santander will want to do is they want to do an extrinsic analysis to know exactly what you will be using the money with. And then they will be doing let alone an intrinsic analysis, an internal analysis to see if you have other business debts. What is your DTI? DTI stands for debt to income ratio. So you can it's a, it's a metric that you can use not only for individuals, but also for uh, for companies. Essentially, what you're doing is you're taking the total amount of debt that a business or a person has and you divide that amount of debt through their revenue. So let's say you're making your business is making a million dollars right every year, but you're you're you're, you're spending two hundred thousand dollars just to repay debt. So in that case, your DTI is 20 percent, two hundred thousand divided by divided by a million. So something there might also want to have a business plan as evidence. They might want to check your business credit report, your personal credit report, your income tax returns at the personal level and at the business level. Let me ask you another question. Big decision time here. Another big decision time. What about financial statements? Do you have uh, accurate financial statements right now in your business? How do you prepare those? Do you have an accountant in-house or do you use a uh, software? Talk to me. Talk to me because the, the thing here is that the accuracy, the integrity of your financial statements is going to project an air of confidence vis-a-vis -vis, um, Santander or an air of doubt. If they see that your, your, your financial statements are kind of like uh, are inaccurate, this is not good. And when we speak about financial statements, we're speaking about the, four set, the, the, the set of four reports, right? Balance sheet, income statements, 
statement of cash flows, and statement of owner's equity. Let me quickly talk to you about how to apply. Again, folks, we are speaking about how to apply for a massive, humongous, EIN only business loans from Santander Bank. And uh, the, the Santander Bank, the, uh, the maximum loan amount is $3 million, no personal guarantee. So with this loan, you can actually apply uh, over the phone. You can, con you can go to the branch. Again, Santander is very prominent in the Northeast. If you are in the, in the South or you are in the, in the West Coast, you can call them up. You can also apply via fax or even mail in. Sometimes they send uh, solicitations to uh, like pre-offers to uh, pre-qualification offers to some clients uh, in the country. So if you receive something like this in the mail or via email, you can reply. You just need to follow the instructions. Okay. But for illustrative purposes, I want to show you how, how to apply for this loan online. One thing I want to say very clearly here is that you really want to be very, you want to be, uh, you want to understand that Santander does not allow applicants to, uh, I mean, borrow prospective borrowers to apply online. And the reason is, is it's very simple. This bank, they prioritize human contact. They want to have, uh, they want to have a conversation with, uh, with you. They want to talk to you. They want to make sure that you are, they have the right products for you. Okay. So this is why they will, they would rather have you, contact them so you can see on the screen here this is all they need all the information they need so if you want to have this loan you have to fill in the information you put your first name last name you put your email address you put your role i mean i just put some uh, some some funny uh funny descriptions here but this is purely f f fictitious right so you put your company you put your your, your phone number you need to put the industry you're in so that they can start doing the pre-analysis. This is why here we put professional analysis, professional services. You have to put the number of employees. Okay. And then you have to put your, the, 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 the amount zero to half a million. That's the annual business revenue. That's the gross. And you have to put your zip code and then you have to give them the, the best time to contact you. All this information for them is to uh, for them to start their risk analysis to really see if uh, your revenue or your metrics fit in their risk mitigation uh, spectra, because every bank, including Santander Bank, has several risk spectra and they have to choose one risk spectrum that, that fits with your industry, fits within uh, your industry and see if they're comfortable lending to you. Now let's talk. Let me give you a few pro tips. Okay, so I've I've been walking you through this uh, wonderful, this uh, superb business loan from uh, Santander Bank. Maximum loan amounts one, I mean one million, three million dollars, and uh, no personal guarantee, EIN only. So I've given you a couple of uh, a couple of I would say a couple of um, tools couple of tips about uh, the application process now let me give you some few pro tips how do you actually ace the application process how do you actually uh, make sure you get the money your business needs first of all you need to establish a multi product relationship if you're going to apply through something there you better park some of your cash with them what I mean by that is you need to establish a relationship you need to open a, a business banking account a business checking account a business savings account if you want to save some of your cash through a money market account or a CD, a certificate of deposit, I'll say go ahead and do that. The more relationships, the more relationship uh, points you open with Santander, the better your chances of being approved for the loan, even if you have poor credit. Okay. At the end of the day, Santander has to do a risk analysis and see if your profile fits within the risk mitigation spectra, as I said earlier. And uh, let me ask you a question in terms of uh, decision time. This is big decision time. Are you maintaining good credit now, either personally or professionally? I mean, at the business level, what is your business credit? What is your personal credit? Are you in the 400, the 500, the 600, 700? Are you in the, in the stellar category, stellar credit category? What about business? Where is your paydex? 50, 40, 70, 90, 95? Those are things you need to think about. So if your business credits and or your personal credit 
are like uh, less than seller, then you want to beef up your cash flow. You want to beef up your liquidity. It's all about, you know, as we always say on this show, you cannot afford to have a skinny FICO and also a skinny bank account. Somebody has to be fat. So if you have a, if you have a skinny FICO score, you better have a, a fat checking account. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a fat FICO and a fat checking account, I think you shouldn't be listening to this show. But I mean, you know, we still want to to have you around. But it means that you can have, if you have a fat checking account and a fat a fat score, I mean, you can get any credit you need anyway. But that's beside the point. My point here is that you need to establish, you need to establish a relationship, and you need to demonstrate sufficient cash flow at the business level. Very important. All right, folks. This is it for today's conversation. I was actually talking to you about uh, a massive business loan from Santander Bank. Maximum loan amount, $3 million. And uh, EIN only. The minimum FICO required is uh, 545. No personal guarantee. So I gave you an overview. I gave you, a, uh, I talked to you about the loan facts, the lender at a glance, eligibility criteria, use of loan proceeds, evidence needed, how to apply, and a few pro tips. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate that. I will speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.